time to take this part, but I want to take just like this one. I want to bounce that out just so it's unique now. And then taking those down. What's good? It's Music Nick. Today we are cooking up some guitar beats. So Ryani Prod, Ryani Beats, he hit me up. Uh, he DM me, he's like, yo, would it take to get some uh, some of my samples in one of your videos? I make guitar samples, da da da. I listen to his shit. It looks like he's got some like credits with like the Kid Leroy, Kid G, Russ, a bunch of people. And so I was like, bro, I just wanna work with you. So just send some shit through, let's get it popping. He did end up just sending him a link through to kind of download some of his samples from like basically a, uh, a click funnel. But I was like, fuck it, I'll jump, I'll jump into the funnel, see what's good. These samples are sick. So I'll show you the samples right here. We're cooking up a basically just if you, what you just saw was I was just rearranging. It's basically like tons, like 10 layers of sort of like a one kind of sample that you can just like kind of layer, use different parts of that you want, kind of different sections and kind of layer on top of each other. It's pretty fucking cool, super clean, obviously super talented guitar. So this has been fun to jump into. And then, so yeah, we're gonna make a beat with some of his uh, click funnel uh, loops. And then we're gonna make a, our own sample with just my free Music Nick uh, guitar one-shot kit, free at musicnickbeats.com. So we're gonna see, do you wanna jump into the funnel or download some free one-shots or both? We're just gonna make some guitar beats and see what sounds best. Anyway, I'm talking too long now. Comment, like, subscribe. Let's go. I've added a few master effects, some light RC20, just some light EQing based off the RC20. Just put this EQ on, just cut the lows so that like I can throw on some hard eight weights, but I took it out for this like that part with the bass, but leading up to it, the bass is cut out, then turn that off. But um, yeah, a little tape machine, just again, just to, just to fuck it up, just to take someone's beautiful sample and just to fuck it up. And then um, a little more EQ and yeah, just basically did some shit to have fun and make it my own. Cause that's what you gotta do, you know, make put, put a piece of yourself into that shit. So now we've kind of collabed on the sample, 90% right in his guitar. And so now let's uh, balance this. I'm tempted to maybe up the BPM into the 150s and I'm trying to decide whether I want to like stretch it so that like as it gets faster, it also gets higher pitch or do I want to keep the pitch? We'll decide when we get there. All right, we time stretched it up to 154, a little bit higher pitch now. I like it. Uh, again, let's bounce it out. Final trick, let's put down 100 cents from there. I'm gonna throw on a sample, like a little compressor, a little G Hertz Midside Matrix again. Making it my own. You know, I'm sure Ryan he did some beautiful things to it when he made the guitar sample, but I'm gonna do what I wanna do because now it's in my hands and you can do whatever you want. That's the beauty of making music, there's no right answer. I, cause I'm stupid also, I just wanted to make sure I had an outline of our new bass notes here and this is what I have determined via the bass and some FL keys. <laughs> just kidding! So just like one, two, three, four, five Nick Mirror snares. Well, a DT clap plus four Nick Mirror snares. A little repetitive little hi hat thing. Okay, I know I'm typically an advocate for not so many drum sounds. 
keeping these simple, but we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we haven't gotten the 8 away to the kick yet. But I think this kind of beat it sounds good, sort of like some Juice World, Drug Kenji, I don't know, the Kid Leroy, any of that type shit. So why not take the All Girls of the Same 8 away and also take that 8 away, two fucking awesome 8 away, and put them on the same beat? Let's get some proper uh, leveling. Let's do our 808s first. So let's get our 808s to each to around negative six. The kick around negative three. Everything else around there. I was throwing a TFI classic clipper on that shit. Really bump that shit. It's a collab beat with Ryaney. You can download his uh, guitar funnel shit in the description below. This shit came out fire. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat it with um, my one shot kit, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. But here's the beat that we made with Rainy. Shout out Rainy for sending these samples through. We dove into his funnel and how he came with a dope beat. I fuck with this shit. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll play this beat and I'm gonna make one more. listen to it in the car and shit and I really like how it turned out so it's gonna be hard to beat but we're gonna try to make an even better one using my free guitar one shot kit but can my free guitar one shot kit make a beat as good as a professional guitarist let's find out using the guitar one shot kits free I'm using the I'm sure a lot of you guys already have this I've been talking about it for like a year now but if you don't go snag it it's free why not Take that, I like that. Let's start building layers.
of shit. And now let's take yeah. the whole thing, grab all this, transpose, I don't know, four. And then maybe back down like minus two. I like just going in here and rather than trying to find like a, a Guitar Rig 6 preset that works with like so much extra shit they have on them, I like to just go to the amplifiers and find a nice amplifier and just fuck with the amplifier. It's like just plugging the guitar into an amplifier. Simple. And then we can do the rest of our effects outside of Guitar Rig. So all of Vintage Verb just chose a random chamber uh, effect rack, just uh, brought down a little bit, just one of my presets that I've made right here. Got a couple EQs, just simple, cutting out some lows, cutting out some random shit. You got this stereo shaper, getting this shit over to the left. And then just a, another effect rack, just kind of opening it up a little bit with some more reverb. So let's bounce that shit and um, yeah, throw some uh, similar. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this so you can go to file save mixer track state as and you can drag it over i'm basically going to drag this onto each other guitar part basically and then make tweaks to make them unique but basically going to start from here because it sounds dope all right we got arranged out you know building up into the chorus that's everything then we made a bunch of unique shit and brought it down an octave <clears throat> layered up some more then had this halftime thing that like fades off so it like builds back up into the chorus so yeah let's bounce that shit and uh i think i showed earlier yeah the rc20 and uh some cassette and shit on the uh master as well now we got a bounce sample here let's bring it down a hundred cents arranged out and play out the final B and I'm gonna skip it to the end also at one point because we got some like nice little like half time that we threw on it to like uh, just end it out all dope and swagged out but anyway yeah so that's making a beat with real guitar loops from a professional guitarist and then making beats using one shots so my free guitar one shot kit I think both came out pretty damn good both have their strengths and weaknesses well I don't really know if the real guitar has many weaknesses but yeah, I think actually uh, we came as close as we could, I think, with these one shots and it came out pretty damn good. Let me know in the comments how you think we did, which one sounds better to you, and go grab those one shots from using nickbeats.com. They are free one shot kit if you haven't got them yet. So yeah, I'm playing the final beat. Yeah, comment, like, subscribe. All the comments help the algorithm. The likes help the algorithm. I really appreciate you guys. I want to talk to you guys in the comments. So yeah, appreciate you. Till next time. Peace.